hi guys this video is the continuation of my previous video on lines and planes in 3d and here in this problem we have to find a vector uh, that is parallel to the uh, given line whose parametric equations are these so we talked about parametric equation in the previous video if you guys want to watch that video before so i'm going to post the link in the de description the de description below so you guys can watch that okay now we're given these parametric equation and to find the parallel vector what we have to do here is to get the vector a like the components of the vector a and in the previous video i told you that if to find the parametric equation you have to do x0 plus at y equals to um, y0 plus bt and z equals to z0 plus ct and here a b c these are these a b and c so these are the components of the vector a so here we have this x0 plus a t and here a is 9 and here it is y0 y equals to y0 plus bt so here we see b is 5 and here we have z equals to z0 plus uh, ct so here c is negative c, uh, 3 so we have the components now x y z we have 9 5 and negative 3 so let's just write them so we have 9 5 and negative 3 and you can also write that in the form of i g and k it's the same thing so this is the um the vector a that is parallel to the line so it is called parallel to the line and it all it is also called the direction vector of the line okay now moving on to the symmetric equations of a line okay so do you guys remember the parametric equation of a line so it is given as x equals to x0 plus at y equals to y0 plus bt and z equals to z0 plus ct and here to find the parametric equation what we simply do is we isolate the t the variable t okay so if we isolate that so x here it's positive the x0 when it goes there it has to be negative so x minus x0 and since a is multiplying here with t we will divide it at the other side so divide by t which is equals to t so just isolating t so what i did moved it to other side and divide by a okay now doing the same thing here moving this to the other side and dividing by b to isolate t and here same thing z minus z0 and divide by c equals to t now since they're all equal to t like t t t so you can simplify it or you can just simply write it like t equals to x minus x0 over a and then equal to y minus y0 over b and z minus z0 over c so this is the symmetric equation the equation to find the symmetric equation of a line but you guys can memorize this equation if you want but what i usually do is just i just write the parametric equation and then i i solve for t i find it simpler this way so i don't have to remember this equation but if you guys can remember so just remember this equation and just plug in the formula plug in the numbers into the formula okay now let's do an example of it here it says find the parametric equations for, for the line passing through point 1 which is 5 3 1 and point 2 which is 2 1 1 okay here so like I said first what I do is find the parametric equation and then solve for the uh, t to find the symmetric equation so first find the parametric equations 
So for that, I'll need the vector a and like the components of vector a. And for that, I'll do p1 minus p2. Okay, like I said in the previous video, you guys can do for defining the parametric equation, you can do p1 minus p2 and p2 minus p1. It's the same thing. But just remember, if you choose p1 minus p2, then your x0, like here, x equal to x0 plus at and y equals to y0 plus bt and z equals to z0 plus ct. So here these x0, y0, and z0, these has to be this one. Like p1, if you're going, if you're doing p1 minus p2. But if you're doing for a, p2 minus p1, then uh, these x0, y0, and z0 has to be the points of p2. Okay, so just remember that. Okay, now what I'm doing here, I'm going, I'm doing p1 minus p2. So p1 minus p2, 5, 3, 1, minus 2, 1, 1. Okay, doing that gives 5 minus 2. 3 minus 1 and 1 minus 1. Okay, like um, it's the subtraction of vector, like x component with the x component, y component with the y, and z with z. So 5 minus 2, 3 minus 1, and 1 minus 1. Okay, which gives us 5 minus 2, 3, 3 minus 1, 2, and 1 minus 1, so play 0. Okay, now we have the vector a so for the vector a the coordinates that we have it's like here a b c these are here a b c so these and like i said the x0 y0 and z0 these are these guys okay, now just write the equation then so the equation will be x equals to x0 which is 5 and then plus a what's my a 3 you see here 3 okay yeah so 3t y equals 2 what's the y0 it's 3 yeah then bt so 2t and then z equals to 1 plus 0t since c is 0 here, but it's 0 t, so you just don't write it. So z equals to 1. So this, these are my parametric equations. Parametric equations, but I need to find symmetric equations. So for that, we just isolate the t. So here, for the first equation, we have this, so let's isolate the t. So by isolating that, we get x minus 5 over 3 equals 2t. You see, I move the 5 to the other side, so it was positive, became negative, and then dividing by t, dividing by 3. So if I do it step by step, if you're confused, so x minus 5 equals to 3t. Now I'm isolating t. So what do I do? I divide by 3. So by both sides. And here I subtract 3 by both sides. So here it's 0. And then it goes to the other side. Okay, negative 5. And here. Okay, I hope you got it now. So let me erase it. Okay, so writing this in the parametric form, 5 minus 3 over 3t. Now, for the second one, we have y equals 2, 3 plus 2t. So here, y minus 3 over 2t, because moving 3 to the other side and dividing by 2. Okay, now for the z, so here it's z equals to 1. So here, there's no t, so just simply move the t, z to the other um to the other side okay z minus one 
and then so these are the okay sorry equals to t and so these are my parametric equations you can put it equals to t and to write it neatly what we can do is just write make them all equal to t so t equals to x minus 5 over 3 equal to y minus 3 over 2 and z minus 1 so these are my symmetric equations so this can be the final answer okay that was it for today's video thanks for watching